a dynamical equilibrium of the universe. With the first calculations how a star behave, which is three times bigger, 3.2 times bigger than Sun, has been discovered that the big masses, big stellar objects, have a tendency to disappear in the space, to shrink. From that time, the question arises where the energy of mass is disappearing. Our research group has developed a model according to which energy of mass in black holes and neutron stars is transforming into energy of the space. With the development of quantum gravity, we know that energy that the space is made out of small packets of energy we call quanta of space. And we suppose, we did the calculations, according to which mass is disintegrating into these elementary particles of space in black holes and in neutron stars. In the outer space, that means in the space between galaxies, where the density of this empty space is very high, the energy of space is transforming into energy out of which is built matter, into subatomic particles which then constitute atoms. And this circulation of energy is a permanent. That means energy is constantly transforming from the energy of the mass to the energy of the space and from the energies of the space back to the energy of the mass. And this process has no beginning and this process will have no end. So, universe is a system in a permanent dynamic equilibrium without beginning and without end. There was no God to make universe, there was no God to destroy it. Universe itself is eternal. Universe itself is eternity. And uh, the most interesting is that in this eternity, time, it's only numerical order of its change. So universe is not something that happened in time. Time run in the universe as a numerical order of change that we measure with clocks. More about this vision of uh, timeless universe in a permanent dynamic equilibrium you can see in my other videos or you can read in the book Einstein's Timeless Universe The Foundation for Cosmic Religiousness that was recently published by La Plambert Academic Publishing. I wish you good reading. Thank you.